Hey guys, it's Alexis and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to get the most out of your wardrobe work edition. So this is for anybody that's working in an office setting that needs some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your work clothes because let's be honest, unfortunately if you're buying your work clothes new, it can be a little bit expensive. So like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite tips on how I personally style my work clothes in multiple different ways. So I'm going to stop rambling and without further ado, let's get started. So the first item I'm styling is just a basic dress and I feel like this is perfect for the summer because it's made out of a very lightweight jersey material which is super soft and extremely comfortable. So I love wearing this to the office when I used to work in one. Um, I literally felt like I was wearing pajamas when I did wear this. And it's also very flattering. I love the little cross ruching in it. I feel like it gives me a very nice silhouette as well. And then just to make it a little bit more professional, I paired it with a very fitted blazer. This one is from Express. I love the angles on it. I feel like the shoulders are super, super flattering and I love how like angular they are. I think this is perfect for the office. And then to style it outside of the office, I just pulled it up to make it a little bit shorter. And then I paired it with one of my favorite jackets of all time that I thrifted online. And then for the shoes, I'm wearing my favorite strappy sandals from Aloha's. I think this is so cute for any type of night out with friends, getting drinks, going out. I think this is absolutely adorable. Again, super comfortable still because of this dress. I literally feel like I'm wearing pajamas with a coat. I can conquer the world. I think this outfit is super cute, super comfortable. It is the best of both worlds, which I didn't think was possible, but this dress showed me anything is. <laughs> also, side note, this is from the brand Shamir Miu Miu. I got this very long ago, so I don't know if they still sell it. So the next item that I'm styling is a blazer and this is different from the one that I showed in the first clip. This one is a little bit oversized and I think this is the most oversized that you should go if you're in a professional setting just because an oversized blazer is much more casual. Um, but this one is a little bit longer and the sleeves are not as tight. You can see that the shoulder pads are not as intense either. I love this blazer. It's super comfortable and it looks really cute buttoned up as well. This outfit that I'm styling, I just have a basic white top on with low rise trousers. The top that I'm wearing is a little bit cropped, so I probably wouldn't wear that to the actual office, but just for this video's sake, I do think this is a really, really cute outfit that you can definitely easily make a version of on your own. And then I'm just wearing my basic black pumps as well. I think this outfit is super cute and you could even wear it out of the office and you'd still look really, really cute. And then for the out of office outfit, I went still with a very sleek silhouette. I'm just wearing a basic black corset from Misguided and then my favorite wide leg jeans from Zara that are a little bit too long. I definitely need to get them cut. And then basic black pumps. I kept the same pumps that I've been wearing on for this entire episode thus far. I think that's really cute. It's a really very flattering silhouette. I feel super chic but super comfortable at the same time and I would definitely wear this anywhere outside of the office and I would still feel like I would look adorable. And if you want to put a belt on, that would be really cute as well just to keep your waist. So the next clothing item that I'm styling is a skirt. I actually have two different versions of a skirt. The first one is a maxi or a midi skirt. I love wearing these to the office. They are extremely comfortable, very girly and flattering, also very modest and perfect for the office. The one that I'm wearing, I swore I was not gonna put into my videos anymore because I wear it all the time, but I can't stop. It is my favorite skirt from Urban Outfitters. Not Urban, geez, from Anthropology. I got it a very long time ago. I don't think they sell it anymore. But like I said, one of my favorite skirts. And then just to keep my shape, I went with my original blazer. Again, that's from Express. That just gives me a little bit more shape rather than the longer one. I feel like that would have been a little bit too much coverage. And then the top I'm wearing is just a basic white silk top just to kind of brighten the outfit. I feel like I could have worn a black shirt with it, but it just would have been too dark. So I kind of like the lighter 
And then for my out of office styling, I went with a micro crop top that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I recently got it from Zara. I actually put it in my Zara haul not too long ago. Click the link in the right upper hand corner if you wanna watch that. And then for the shoes, I'm going with my favorite little strappy sandals from Aloha that I think are adorable. I love this outfit so much, super flirty, perfect for dates or just, I don't know, going, running around in a field or something. This item that I'm styling is a button up blouse. The one that I'm wearing, I thrifted actually. It's originally from Liz Sport. But when I go for button ups, I go normally for not a fully oversized button up, but a slightly oversized. So not one that's super, super long, even though I'm pretty sure if you go to a thrift store, it's very difficult to find longer ones. Those are mostly popular nowadays, and I don't think they made those back then, really, unless they were actually a dress. Um, anyway, the one that I'm wearing, like I said, is thrifted from Liz Sport, but I think it's super, super cute. It's a little bit more casual because of the pocket, but I love the stripes, love the blue. I've worn this outfit a few times to the office, and it's very comfortable. Um, the pants are from Express also, if you were wondering. And then the shoes I'm wearing are from Sam Edelman. I love them. I personally love a suede nude shoe. I just think it looks super, super cute. These are very flattering and super comfortable. And then for the out of office outfit, I went for something super casual. I think this is an adorable shirt for wearing it over top your outfit like a sweater. I think this is very reminiscent of the 90s, early 2000s. I think this is adorable, very, very casual, perfect for any anything, honestly. Running errands, hanging out with friends, crafting. This makes you wanna do arts and crafts. I don't know why. Love this so much though. My top is from White Fox. My shorts are thrifted and my shoes are Converse. So the next item I'm styling is a pencil skirt. And in my opinion, this is something that you must have if you're working in an office. A basic black pencil skirt can take you a long way. The one I'm wearing is actually really old from Forever 21. And it is super flattering. I'm obsessed with the length. I feel like I love a longer pencil skirt much more than like the standard mid thigh length. I think this is much more chic, very, very flattering. Love the silhouette. And then I'm pairing it with a basic white button up, which honestly I never wear to the office. I feel like this looks like I'm wearing a costume, but just for the sake of this video, this is a perfect basic outfit. If you are new to the office world, you can wear this literally every day and no one will say anything. And then again, the shoes I'm wearing are my basic pumps from Louboutin. And then a fun little thing you can do if you don't like your basic white tank top is to pop the collar a little bit. It just makes you look like a rich bitch. Make it a little bit more buttoned down and very chic, very, I don't actually need this, Sean, because my daddy owns this company. I'm kidding. And then the way that I styled it out of work, I think is perfect for like a Friday night cocktail after work, date night, or something along those lines. The top I'm wearing is a little halter top from Zara. I think it's adorable. I'm obsessed with the black and white graphic design on it. And then it has a little ruching around the rib cage as well, which I think is super, super flattering. And then I wanted to continue the color blocking into my outfit by pairing these white shoes with the outfit. But looking back at this video, I think it would have been much cuter with those strappy Aloha sandals that I was wearing earlier in the video. But I think this is a really cute outfit regardless. It gives me like Y2K vibes, especially with my hair. And I think this is absolutely adorable and perfect for you to recreate on your own as well. But that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this video. So if you want to see more of these, definitely make sure to let me know down below in the comments. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you next week. Bye.